So all right, vapesters, we got some disturbing news today about the fact that smoking rates are on the rise for the first time in over a decade, something that we all predicted were going to happen due to the new restrictions on vaping. And we're going to discuss exactly what the statistics show, as well as the effects that is likely to have on the health of the American people. And we're going to do all that today on Indoor Smokers. So, all right, guys, I hope all of you have still stuck with the vaping and not gone back to smoking traditional cigarettes. So, as reported by many of the news agencies, 2020 saw the first spike in American smoking cigarettes in over two decades. We actually saw a peak of over 40% of the American population, adult population, smoking cigarettes back in the 1960s. And that had dropped all the way down to a low of 14% in this past decade due in large part, I would believe, in the last 10 years because of the rise of a more healthy alternative to smoking, namely vaping. So for whatever reason, the states found it so important to restrict the access of vaping products to their citizens that now we are finally seeing those trends reverse and smoking is actually on the rise again. Now, most of the article talked about the reasons for that being the stress and anxiety caused by the pandemic. And some of that may be true because, of course, in the early days of the pandemic, they were trying to scare the shit out of us with all the dire talk about COVID and the bodies piling up and refrigerated containers and things like that. I know I was so scared to touch myself for a little while there. I gave up masturbating altogether, man. Well, maybe not all together, but I was definitely keeping that finger out the booty hole. They had me scared, man, because you know that's my favorite part. <laughs> Honestly, really, this is no laughing matter because it is a sad commentary on the American government and the state governments. They would take something that has been shown to be 95% less dangerous than cigarettes and restrict access to that while doing nothing to restrict access to cigarettes. And even as scary as the pandemic may have been to people, the bottom line is regardless of how many people have actually died from COVID, over 400,000 people a year die in the United States alone from smoking related illnesses each and every year. And now that number's on the rise and all of those smoking related illnesses, of course, cancers of many varieties, heart disease, emphysema, all of those types of diseases associated with smoking are going to be on the rise as well. And the saddest part is, out of three or four different news articles I read about this, not one mentioned the impact of the restrictions on vaping and how they affected this rise on cigarettes. Finally, there was an article at the very tail end, the last paragraph by the Wall Street Journal that did mention what I think is really one of the most important reasons for this increase in cigarettes. Smokers are also switching back to traditional cigarettes from vaping devices in response to restrictions on e-cigarette flavors, according to the Wall Street Journal. So just the restriction of flavors alone has caused people to switch back to cigarettes. And it is sad that this is something we all said would happen, something we all predicted would happen, and now we see it actually coming to fruition, and is the government going to do anything about it? For all of you who said the states were being motivated by that tax revenue from the cigarettes, well, it looks like they're getting that back. So they have managed to find a way to increase the revenues in their coffers. And one impact that was not addressed by any of the articles is the fact that there are more first-time smokers, more people picking up cigarettes and starting to smoke during the pandemic during 2020 than any other year in the last two decades, and how many of those people would have started vaping and doing something significantly less dangerous than smoking cigarettes had vaping not had all of the bullshit lung injury scares that was reported by all of the media outlets, which turned out was basically all just bullshit when it came to vaping because those lung injuries were actually caused by illicit at THC carts, which was reported by the CDC, yet I didn't see one newspaper, one television station, including all of the cable news channels, not one of them, printing a retraction and saying, oops, it turns out that it wasn't vaping that caused those lung injuries after all. So between the scare tactics and the restrictions, is anybody surprised to see that? that the number of people smoking cigarettes is on the rise for the first time in almost two decades. 
So it's just a sad, pathetic commentary on the laws of this nation, the government's motivations, the lack of concern about keeping people safe and healthy in our country. And like I said, while they locked down millions and hundreds of millions of Americans over the COVID pandemic, which granted killed hundreds of thousands of people, yet I don't see them doing any kind of lockdowns for people smoking cigarettes, nor should they. But the fact that they are trying as hard as they can to take the one safe alternative and probably the best alternative to smoking cigarettes and make that as difficult as they can for people to get really says it all so anyways guys i'm not going back to smoking but i may be going back to the finger diddle while i masturbate anyways guys i would love to hear your thoughts about this if you have anything else that you can add to what i talked about today or just tell me what your thoughts are on the whole idea of the fact that for the first time in decades smoking is on the rise again other than that, you guys just have a wonderful rest of your vaping day. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to this channel. Ring that little bell so you get the notifications. Share this video out and be sure to drop me a comment down below. I'll be curious to see what you guys think about this. And then I'm going to make like a long time smoker and roll up out of here on a freaking gurney.